a real live magic show before. The crowd enters the venue and the curtains open for the show to begin. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh, they're dimming the lights. The show must be starting. Shut up, Paimon. <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> Sorry, Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she seems so I shy. She seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. <laughs> now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Oh, what the? Who is this guy? <laughs> Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, no, that's... Oh, good point. That's what makes <laughs> the show real magic. Okay, already raised some red flags. Wow, we're... Everybody's getting their vision taken away, huh? Child, <laughs> and now these two. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. <laughs> She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. <laughs> yeah, just imagine, like, it's just like, all right, we put away our visions. Now we're going to be using our delusions for, for this magic trick. Just, just whips one out. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. Up, oh, the music stopped. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Okay. Ominous. Oh, lights out. A magician's greatest skill. Oh shit. Cutscene. Let's go. Disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> oh, nothing in the hat. Hmm. <laughs> what? A, okay. Whoa. Okay. Huh? <laughs> I'm always a fan of magic shows, to be honest. <laughs> so this is kind of exciting, actually. Whoa! <laughs> hey, let me kill that pigeon for Powell. <laughs> is this your but card? This isn't what you came for. These little tricks? You've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. <laughs> it just flies straight into Farina. Oh, Using this water no. Tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely right before your very eyes. Oh, right, Clorin's in there, too. Okay, uh, I'm it's not too happy. I'm not simple. too confident about this one. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no! I told them to check all the props carefully. Uh oh. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Uh, oh, what? Oh, 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 it's just her clothes left. <laughs> Is she just naked somewhere else? <laughs> don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh -huh. Okay, she's fine. <laughs> Okay, I thought something was gonna go wrong in this magic show. I'm not gonna lie. God damn, that, that trick even... Yeah, even Farina suppressed. <laughs> 
Do more! Do more! Ah, no, nah, that's it. Okay, that, <laughs> that actually made me nervous for a second. I thought, I thought fucking Lynette's gonna fight the bullet there. <laughs> Come on, get back here. You're, you're blocking the way. Wasn't Lynette inside the water tank? How did she disappear and then reappear out of nowhere? What a show. No wonder he's a famous magician. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Huh. Guess you're right. I couldn't believe her eyes when Yeah, Lynette honestly, I was quite nervous. <laughs> Because the trailer like made it look like like something bad was happening, but I'm glad that wasn't the case. <laughs> yeah, I was semi nervous there. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. <laughs> There's a cat. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation oh. of one lucky audience member. Oh. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now. Me? There are two boxes and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> Teleportation. A swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do that? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Let's watch and see. I'm sure we can spot how he does it. The lucky audience Maybe. member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. It's gonna be us, isn't it? It's either gonna be us or Nuvalet. Oh, I don't know what that number is. Oh, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations! You ah, damn it, random at BC. Damn it. First hand for an entire minute. Please come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped <laughs> inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up? <laughs> you might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, okay. <laughs> she seems oh, nervous. <laughs> before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60. 59, really a whole minute all right just keep 57 down. 56 you can go a little faster or slower if you like 55 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 1 0 okay it's done i won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box so i'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up oh and no tricks now if you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds then i'll be in a tough spot <laughs> you said you could go quickly I'm sure Lenny's prepared. With the whole crowd counting together, you couldn't even if you wanted to. No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. <laughs> Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58. That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. 54, 53. Okay, you're going a bit faster, Paimon. Why aren't you counting, Nevelet? Because <laughs> I don't want to. I am counting in my head. <laughs> I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh, all right. You look so serious.
realized that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. Like, yeah, it looks like you're not enjoying the performance, I'm not gonna lie. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. Uh-oh. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. <laughs> Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Wait, we can hear him from here? It's like it's all part of the show, but he's super, supremely confident in his abilities. Uh... What was the the hell? Did you hear it too? Did it come from the outer stage? Maybe it was to uh, divert our attention. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. Oh, come on. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. Who cares about the decoration? Just go. Never Just do mind it. mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry. We still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting. 19, 18, 17. Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Oh. Almost there now. Is this one going to fail? Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> Hey, wait, is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven! Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three, oh, wrong one. <laughs> oops! That doesn't count! Oh, come on. Come on, Lenny. Oh. There we go. He did it. <laughs> Woo! Wait, where did the other guy go? <laughs> She's just not there. Uh-oh. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh... That. What oh, what? The oh, fuck! The 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 assistant is dead. Ah. Uh, oh, no. I had the feeling something was gonna go wrong. Is this part of the show, Mr. Linny? You're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? What happened? Oh no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? Uh, oh, I had the feeling something, something was going to go wrong, but I didn't expect this. <laughs> this performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the oh, god Oh no, of is Lenny gonna be had on trial? No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Where'd the other girl go? Like it... That was the assistant that... Unfortunately, oh, boy. the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. Ah, oh, fuck. Cowell. One of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Wait, no, that that wasn't the girl who entered the box. Ah, fuck. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. Oh, that's un. Why would you have fireworks on an indoor stage? Oh, fuck. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box rather than the guest from the audience. 
And where is the guest anyways? And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance, and there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial. Oh right, right. Women. I forgot about that. But <laughs> uh, the the serial disappearances case. Are they gonna put the blame on Lenny for all the disappearances? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. And to pull it off like this in front of the audience, including the Archon and Chief Justice, that's not good. <laughs> I know. I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I don't think it's his fault, though, I no. I that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No, oh, this all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen. Uh... Did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. It really wasn't, though. That can't be right. How can Lenny do this? It's definitely not him. He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He could have possibly mean catching himself. He's a suspect at most. It's hard to believe this all happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think <laughs> that he... Well, I uh, think this <laughs> might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. Did you just say that just for the fuck of it? But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally- Oh no, justice. she's gonna be swayed by the audience. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. I think I get what's going on now. She's, okay, she doesn't want to actually press charges, but now everybody thinks she is, she's gonna do it. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's the opponent? Right. I mean what? you, traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? Oh, I don't have to all, duel with you? He was the one who helped you the God. first time we met. I feel like Farina's giving every excuse possible to try and fight us. But yeah, I trust Linny. No problem at all. You know, the traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. No, we did not. <laughs> but with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So no more draws. Oh Between boy. The two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles. Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. Oh boy. <laughs> But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him? I'm an attorney case? now? Okay, I guess I am, yeah. Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Oh boy, we're gonna go, we're gonna go all Ace Attorney now. Linney and I love it. are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave. Where's Phoenix right when you need him? They have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Oh boy. Everyone's dismissed and the audience begins to leave along with Farina and Nubalette.
That is not good. 